chemotherapy can cause lot of side effects. Chemotherapy, people are scared to take chemotherapy. But what we should understand is most of the side effects can be managed. If you follow your doctor's precautions and advice, you can get away with many side effects. Now what are the common side effects of chemotherapy? Or what are the precautions you should take during chemotherapy? Should I come fasting for chemotherapy? No. Eat well and come. So there is no rule. It is not a blood test. So there is no need to come fasting for your chemotherapy. Preferably come early during the day for your chemotherapy session because your chemotherapy may be a long chemotherapy. Starting it late in the day is not advisable. Chemotherapies are always given in the hospital. They cannot be given at home. So you have to come to your hospital. What are the common side effects? During the medication infusion, you can have itching, you can have skin reaction, you can have breathing difficulty, your blood pressures may drop, you may have chest congestion or tightness. Obviously, you will tell your doctor or nurse immediately and the medication will be stopped. This is called anaphylaxis. So, like any drug, chemotherapy can also cause a reaction in your body. This is an immediate reaction. This doesn't occur in everybody, but there are medications which can be given to prevent it, which we give before chemotherapy and even if this occurs, it is manageable. Then what are your early side effects? Nausea, vomiting, weakness, fatigue, your early side effects. After you go home, patients may have nausea, vomiting, weakness, they will develop hair loss, they will have loss of taste, mouth ulcers, pain in the abdomen, they may have diarrhea or loose motions. Medications are given to prevent nausea and vomiting. We give these medicines before the chemotherapy and after the chemotherapy also when you go home. Most of the common reasons for nausea and vomiting are not taking your vomiting medicines. So take your tablets, take your vomiting medicines as prescribed for the next three to five days as your doctor tells you. Majority of the time you may only have a nausea or you will not even have those problems. Next side effect is infections. So chemotherapy kills the WBCs, so the WBC count falls after a few days, you have a risk of infection. So to prevent infection, the doctor will give you certain injections called growth factors or colony stimulating factors. They are usually given 24 hours after or 5 days after the chemotherapy. So these injections have to be taken. It's a small subcutaneous injection. It is given like insulin, can be given by anybody uh, like a patient who is taking insulin or a nurse or a doctor. And this is to prevent the fall in WBC count. These injections cause a bit of back pain. Otherwise, these injections are helpful and ordinary painkillers like paracetamol can be taken to prevent the back pain caused by these infections, by these injections. And the late side effects of chemotherapy are sometimes some chemotherapies can affect the heart in the long term or they can cause infertility issues and very 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 rarely in few people chemotherapy can cause cancers after many years or even blood cancers. Mm -hmm.